Suns back at it post All-Star break starting tomorrow night in Dallas. It's our pleasure to welcome the head coach of the Phoenix Suns, Frank Vogel, to the show via the Arizona Sports Line. Coach, good morning. How Frank, are you? Frank, how are you? Good morning, guys. How you doing? Doing well. How was the uh, How was the break for you? Uh, it was outstanding. The great opportunity to recharge the batteries, mm-hmm. uh, spend time with family, and, and get ready for the stress run. All right, Frank, we've got a couple of new additions. Royce O'Neal in a few games he's played so far looks like a hand-in-glove kind of fit. Now Thaddeus Young is going to be joining the basketball team. How excited are you, and how are you going to get these pieces fully integrated going forward? Yeah, really excited about uh, both of those guys joining our club. You know, we felt like we have a, a roster that uh, can compete for a championship, but we wanted to make some some improvements around the margins. And uh, those two guys definitely feel like uh, are going to help us. Um, you know, Thaddeus definitely with the with the depth at the center position or power forward position. He's he can play four or five. And Royce has already made an immediate impact on our team, uh, helping us win a couple games going into the into the break at a plus 37, plus minus against Detroit the other night. And uh, really shows what he can do on, on both sides of the ball. Frank Vogel, the head coach of the Phoenix Suns, our guest here on uh, Bickley and Murata Mornings during Newsmakers Week. Uh, I think a lot of Suns fans, you know, the day before you guys getting back at it, are curious about the condition of Bradley Beal, had the ankle injury. Uh, before the break, he's still dealing with the nose. Do you have any update on, on, on Brad's status moving forward, Frank? Yeah, Brad had a procedure on his nose, and, and hopefully uh, you know, that has been reset and uh, is, be, is behind him. Uh, the hamstring is doing well, and um, you know, we got to see how he responds to uh, yesterday's work. Uh, we'll have a practice today, uh, later today in Dallas. Uh, which will really be able to to get out and test it and see how it feels. But we're hoping to have him available. You've uh, you've said all along that you expected this team to be dominant, to give them time, to let this thing kind of percolate a little bit. You've been through some rough stretches. You've dealt with some injuries. How close are you to being that team that you've envisioned, and what's it going to take to get there? I think we're close. You know, we played some some really good basketball. Uh, I think we're nineteen and seven since since Christmas. And, um, you know, that's one of the best records in the league during that stretch. Uh, I, I think if we can stay healthy, we have as good a chance as anybody to win this thing. And, um, you know, obviously there's, there's always room for improvement. There are things that, you know, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to talk to our guys about today for, uh, for this stretch run, that um, things we need to, uh, to get better at to, to achieve our goals and, and to position ourselves uh, the best way we can going into the playoffs. But, um, but I like where we're at. You mentioned Christmas Day and the record since Christmas being what it is, very impressive. But on Christmas Day itself, and, and, and some people, as you know, point to Christmas Day as the unofficial beginning of the NBA season. Dallas beat you pretty good on Christmas Day. After that game, Coach, was there a concerted effort by your team to get together and say no more of this? Or, or, or what we're seeing, did that just happen more organically? No, I don't think it was anything like that. I, I think we were just we were moving in the right direction at that time, and um, you know we had a, a little bit of a step back with how we how we performed on that that day in that game, uh, but we felt good about uh, you know the, the the fact that we were getting healthy. Um, the guys, the, the big three, were getting minutes together so they can build the cohesion necessary to win at the highest level. Uh, but that it was still really in the embryo stage of, of, of those guys learning each other and figuring, figuring each other out. So uh, we felt confident about what it was going to look like. That you knew there was going to be some bumps in the road. That day was definitely one of them. Um, but we, we, we remained confident uh, throughout uh, about what we can accomplish. Now, you are a championship coach, which means you've been through the gauntlet. You know what it takes to win playoff series uh, all the way up the ladder. So a couple of the perceived weaknesses of the Suns I want to run by you. Number one, the need for a real established point guard. Is this going to be an issue when you get in a best of series and maybe you start getting blitzed in the backcourt? And B, the the on-court leadership issue that I think Charles Barkley just referenced um, that, that may not pop off the screen to some people. Are these issues, are these hurdles you have to get? get over uh they're not anything that, that gives me a great deal of concern uh, to be honest you know i, I feel like we've had a uh, had a few moments where um you know ball pressure in the backcourt has hurt us but our guys have, have for the most part handled that really well uh i think you know i would call it normal bumps in the road for uh, guys that have, have not played full-time point guard throughout the career that are are being asked to do that you know it's, it's not going to be perfect all the time but um i think the benefits of having uh, those guys all out there together far outweigh 
uh, any type of pressure that we're we're going to face. And you know, I, I really love uh, the leadership structure that we have uh, with our group. Bradley, Devin, and and, and KD have all shown uh, great forms of leadership throughout the the early part of this season. And you know, have positioned our uh, you know our, our team uh, to have a great stretch run and, and to do th- something special. Frank Vogel, the head coach of the Suns, our guest here on Arizona Sports. I, I want to stay on that subject of leadership, and my partner mentioned it. Charles Barkley referenced it during one of the alt cast of the All Star Game, calling out Kevin Durant's uh, w- what he believes is a lack of leadership. I'd love to get your perspective because this is something that has followed KD in his career. You've you've been with him now for fifty five games, and, and you know up close and personal, you see the leadership style of Kevin Durant. How would you describe it? Well, he definitely leads leads by example, uh, but he also speaks up when he needs to. You know, uh, not every player is going to be a rah rah type, and um, you know, uh, you know, to be that that type of 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 guy. But you know, every uh, every player leads in their own way. You have to lead within your personality. You know, like I learned that as a coach a long time ago that you know, I can't come in and and try to be uh, Rick Pitino as much as he inspired me to get into coaching. Our, our personalities are different. I have to coach within my personality, mm-hmm. and I think everybody has to, you know, from a player standpoint, uh, has has to lead that way within their personality. And I think KD does a great job of doing that. One of the cool things that you that you that you're privileged to witness is the growing camaraderie and the growing friendship between KD and Devin Booker. They really do seem to vibe with one another, and, and their talent speaks for itself. Uh, Shed some light on this. Tell our listeners what it's like to be able to mentor and coach these guys, and and what what does it look like behind closed doors? I think there's just a, a, a great deal uh, of appreciation for each other's game, first and foremost. You know, I, I think that's where it, it always begins with uh, you know chemistry between your stars, and um, you know those guys have the utmost respect. Uh, you know, for each other. Obviously, they're they're different phases of their career, and, and KD. Uh, looks at Devin as one of the best young players in the league, and 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 Book looks at KD as one of the greatest of, ever to do it. You know, and somebody that he he watched when he was a high schooler growing up. So I think the appreciation is at the, the highest possible level. And then when you have two guys that really connect the way they have off the basketball court, you know, I think it uh, it, it just strengthens even further. And, you know, it's just another reason why we have a great deal of belief of what we can do this year. All right, finally, this closing stretch in the Western Conference is going to be nuts. Uh, the, the the amount of good teams, the young, unproven ones at the top, uh, the teams like the Lakers and the Warriors who are trying to get something going. What What's this going to feel like? How excited are you for these next 27 games? Every game is going to feel like a playoff game, you know, quite frankly. You know, there, there are. There are a ton of really good teams. Uh, we saw last year when a team like the Dallas Mavericks with Kyrie Irving and Luka Doncic doesn't even make the play-in tournament, just just how um, how close the, these races will become. Uh, there will be a team this year that you know has super high expectations that doesn't make the playoffs, you know, or, or doesn't make the play-in even, you know, and um, you know that's why every game matters. You got to come out of the gate strong and, and win as many games as possible because the competition in the West Conference is fierce. And uh, but it's something that we welcome, you know. I, I think, honestly, I, I think having it uh, having it be that fierce and have these regular season games uh, be so intense are only going to help us uh, help prepare us for the the playoffs and help us to have have success during that that run. So, you know, we we embrace it, we welcome it, and uh, feel very confident that we're going to come out on top. Well, we're looking forward yeah. to this stretch run, Coach. Thanks so yeah, much for the you, uh, time Frank. this morning. Best of luck tomorrow night against Dallas. All right, thanks, guys. Thanks thank, for having me on. Thank Appreciate you, Frank it. Vogel, the head coach of the Phoenix Suns, joining us for a Newsmakers Week. A lot of territory covered there, and uh, good news on the Bradley Beal front. Too. Yeah. Thanks for watching Bickley and Murata. Click to see the latest Bickley Blast and hit the button in the middle to subscribe to Arizona Sports.